When I-Team investigation, open road tolling makes it easier to drive over the Tobin Bridge, but it hasn't been a smooth ride for everyone. Some drivers tell us they're being overcharged hundreds of dollars. The I-Team's Chris McKinnon takes a closer look. No stopping, no jockeying for the correct lane. The only thing slowing you down on the Tobin Bridge these days is traffic. No transponder, no problem. There's pay by plate. The state snaps a picture of your plate and sends you a bill. But David Babb of Lynn says there is a problem, and it's a big one. I think this is ludicrous. This is ridiculous. Babb went over the Tobin Bridge about four times last fall. At $3 a trip, he expected a bill for around $12. When the first bill came, it was $250. Babb appealed, saying he never got the first bill. This is the letter he got back. Said, um, appeal denied. While he was appealing, he got another bill, this time for $899. This is loan shock stuff. And I don't know how they get away with it. When Mina Kroich of Linfield got her bill, she thought it was a scam. It was 1500 and told me that if I don't pay, they're going to stop my uh, registration. Both Mina and David got hit with late fees. MassDOT charges $50 for each toll that's not paid in 60 days. Another 40 on top of that if it goes unpaid for a total of 120 days. That's highly punitive and actually makes the IRS look like ph philanthropists. Mary Connaughton works for a government watchdog agency. She loves the idea of cashless tolling, but before it's expanded to other toll roads, she believes MassDOT should cut back on those fees. In the early stages of cashless tolling, they should err on the side of generous for the driver because people need to get accustomed to this. This is not just an occasional driver getting hit with these fees. The I-Team obtained MassDOT records that show in just four months last year, the state charged $8.5 million in late fees for people who used pay-by-plate. A hefty figure, but they only collected $1.2 million in fees, often agreeing to settle for lesser amounts. I had to settle for 409 for going over the Tobin 30 times. Don't know where they got that number, but that's what they offered. And I said, well, it's better than the 1500 Bab doesn't want to settle. He wants to pay the toll and only the toll. I'm not going to pay it. No way. I can barely afford living. I mean, $900 for four times over the Tobin Bridge? That's nuts. That's crazy. MassDOT would not talk to the I-Team on camera, but a spokesperson said they want to encourage the use of transponders. Mina got one, but Bab just doesn't like the idea. It's America. It's a free country. I get a choice. Right now, there are no plans to change the late fee structure, so if you plan to pay by plate, make sure you're getting a bill and you pay on time. For the I-Team, Chris McKinnon, WBZ News. If there's a story you think the I-Team should take a closer look at, just drop us an email, iteam at cbsboston.com, or give us a call, 617-779-TIPS.